Hello, I'm Paul Check, and welcome back to the Diamond Mind series, Growing Wealth Through Knowledge. Today we're going to go into Gem 3, Flexibility for Stability. So let's see what I have to offer you today. Well, today I'd like to talk a little bit about posture and curves and knowing what you will stretch and what you will strengthen when your client shows up with postural imbalances, which about 99% of them have. Now, on the left, you can see an athlete with common muscle imbalances. This muscle imbalance is called a lower cross. We have two basic classes of muscles in the body, tonic muscles, which are concerned primarily with postural function and joint stability, that have an aerobic metabolism and tend to react to faulty loading, which is overuse, disuse, or abuse by shortening and tightening, yet the phasic muscles you see here in green, which are primarily suited for prime mover activities, react to the same faulty loads by lengthening and weakening. So once a person gets an injury or they get an imbalance due to faulty training technology, which is very, very common, the spine is pulled out of optimal position. So you see the short, tight red muscles tip the pelvis forward as indicated by this line, which indicates pelvic inclination increasing spinal curvatures, decreasing rotational efficiency, and loading joints. Yet, if this person was just standing in front of you in your clinic or in the gym and you took a look at them, you could easily assume that they have too much lumbar curvature, yet as my diagram shows, this particular image shows zero degrees pelvic tilt. So what I'm showing you here is that this person may look like they have excessive curvature, like this one does have, as I've showed here, but they may not. They may actually have a flat back. So even though these two look similar topographically, they actually need opposite approaches. With a zero degree pelvic tilt, you're likely to have too much tension in the green muscles and laxity in the red muscles, which can happen if an injury goes on too long or if somebody's been using the wrong exercises or using a corrective exercise longer than they should be. So one of the key things that we need to remember is that scientific stretching, stretching the right muscles, is critical in order to normalize the flow of energy through the nervous system so you get an optimal response with conditioning exercises. Now, it's really important to realize that as Yonda showed, if a muscle is short and tight, it's excited, it's facilitated, it wants to work too much, particularly the tonic muscles. So if you just exercise a body like this one with squats or lunges or typical gym exercises, the imbalance will get worse because the red muscles are like workaholic muscles and the green one muscles are kind of lazy. So we have to know how to stretch these muscles first before we exercise, but we should not stretch the green ones. They need more energy flow the red needs less energy flow, which stretching helps normalize. If you take a person like this to a yoga class and just stretch all their muscles, it would be like taking a crooked wheel off of a bicycle and loosening all the spokes. You just have a loose crooked wheel. If you took this guy to the gym and just exercised everything, that would be like tightening a crooked wheel. Now you'd have a brittle crooked wheel. Neither of those brings the wheel into true for optimal performance. So by knowing what to stretch and what to strengthen, you can significantly improve the results you get with your clients. In my course, Scientific Core Conditioning and Scientific Back Training, I show you all sorts of highly effective, simple technologies that you can use right in the gym or the workplace or the clinic. No fancy calipers needed, although I do teach Czech practitioners in the more advanced training how to use calibrated measurement systems so that our exercises and stretches and joint mobilizations are much more accurate so that we can ensure long-term results. If you haven't read my Golf Biomechanics Manual, it's another excellent resource for learning how to assess length tension relationships and prescribe specific exercise to isolate muscles that aren't working and then how to integrate them with the rest of the body. Scientific core conditioning and scientific back training are excellent prerequisite courses to get you ready for the more advanced training you can receive in the exercise coach program. 
you're welcome to visit checkinstitute.com where you can see these courses online and purchase them there. Feel free to call the Institute at 1-800-552-8789 and ask any questions about the courses. And you can also visit checkconnect.com where I have a mountain of information, lots of information for free and some subscription information and purchase programs there. So thanks for joining me. I look forward to sharing with you in my correspondence courses, books and resources, and I hope to see you at an advanced training program soon. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Paul Check. Enjoy making money, helping people with the tips, the gems from the diamond mine. Look forward to sharing with you again soon. Bye-bye.